I'm Gene Powell, PGA Master Professional and Director of Instruction at Four Bridges Country Club. I want to help you control the distance with your wedges. So as you hit your wedge shots, there are a number of variables that create the yardages. Um, we're going to focus on the length of backswing to forward swing. So we call it quarter swing, half swing, three quarter swing, but we're also going to stop at very defined positions. So when we hit this shot, if we're hitting a quarter shot, we're going to go backswing to where the club is level to the ground and our, our lead arm is at about what I call the 7.30 spot. So if this is 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock, it's right in the middle at 7.30. So there's a little bit of hinge. So we're going to go back to here. And then when we go through, it goes through to the same spot where the club is parallel to the ground. So this quarter, quarter shot is going to be here and not travel very far. So to create good gapping, we're not trying to maximize each shot. We want them to go a specific distance. For the half swing, we'll rotate back, lead arm about level to the ground, but with a full hinge. And then when you go through, again, you'll mirror the finish on the other side in the exact same spot where the arms are level to the ground and the club is hit. For three quarter, we rotate back, do the same hinge, but now we go up to about shoulder high with our hands. And then when we go through, we go to the same spot. The important part of the finish on three quarter is that when you finish, you can still see your hands. Don't let them go to a full finish and get behind you because that ball will start to travel nearly as far as your full swing wedge. And we're trying to get gaps. So if you do this with a sand wedge, you have three different yardages, plus if you hit it full swing, you have four yardages. And then you should do this with all of your wedges, if you have a lob wedge, a gap wedge, pitching wedge, and then you should record those yardages. Don't try to hit them a specific yardage. Hit the shots, measure them, record them, keep it in your bag, and that way you have it when you're on the golf course, you shoot the yardage and you know exactly which shot you're gonna hit to that yardage.